God, as Spyro just angrily licks his leg. Oh my God, he's probably just mad at me for doing such a horrible job in the second level of the game. And the titular Spyro the Dragon for the PlayStation 1, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Um, had a little bit of trouble last time. I, I, I will chalk it up to a little bit of, you know, blindness in terms of playing this game, not rehearsing it, not having played it in a very long time. 18 years as a matter of fact, um, or it's probably closer to 16 at this point, but we're about to enter the Dark Hollow, and let's not suck it up this time. I will take it with stride. See, because we did really well the first half of that, and then it was just seven minutes of running around in a giant circle, and I was like, god damn, I've never jerked off this hard since high school, man. Okay, so, uh, this guy, this guy's got a bloody ass knife, we also have frogs here that when they die, they secrete butterflies, that's nice. Ooh, and there's a chest here. This is the chest that we earned, the one that we deserve, and we have 100 in this level. I feel like we're going about this all wrong, but I'll take it, 100. Also, I'm going back to 505. If it's a seven hour flight or a 45 minute drive. Oh, can't do that, all right then. Yeah, those guys have bloody ass knives. This game's rated E for everybody, is it not? So I'm a little confused. Also, here, let me headbutt you. You do absolutely nothing. All right, so we can't reach that from up here. And how do I actually punch these? Oh, that's kind of a really cool little thing that I didn't think would be here. Right, let's go downstairs. Let's see what we have down here. Down here, the, this guy. Ooh, oh boy, oh boy. Die, there we go. Okay. So metal just means to bash your face into it in order to kill him. And these guys are probably good here. I'm gonna fly over you. Ah! Oh my god. I feel like that would actually do damage though, right? Oop. All right, here, let's flame you in the butt. There you go, lovely. Speaking of flame butts, apparently <laughs> the uh, voice actor for Spyro is the same as the voice actor from the Yo Quiero Taco Bell Chihuahua. <laughs> and that's kind of an insane bit of trivia that I thought was kind of funny. It's like, Yo quiero taco gems, man! I don't know, something shitty. <laughs> but yeah, that's a little bit of trivia. And then I, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure Elijah Wood took over the voice acting at some point. Or that's just something I heard because I've only played two Spyro games before, but I did really enjoy them. This one in Ripto's Rage. That was interesting, I guess. Discussion for another day. Oswin, how's it going? Spyro, want to know a secret? Use the triangle button when you want to zoom in and look around. Ooh. Oh, your secret's safe with me. Oh, God. <laughs> Some secret that was. If there's any secret I want to know is how the hell you turn from a dragon into sexy-ass little Tinkerbell over there. I mean, look at those polygons. Oof. They paved the way for so many weird fetishes later in life, you guys. Just kidding. It's kind of gross. Hmm. Not a big fan of hand-drawn things. Things in the second dimension, if you will. <laughs> Even if it's 3D and it's drawn, I will not, <laughs> will not look at it. Also, Jesus Christ, there are so many things here. Let me destroy them all with my head. Get squashed in the progress. Why? In the progress? In the process. This guy. Oh God, he's attacking me. Oh, there we go. Okay, so all of these enemies, you pretty much just have to bash or fire, but it's incredibly inconsistent. Like sometimes they'll have metal plates and then they'll guard themselves, but then other times you can shoot them in the butt and then you're good. So I don't know. Does this do anything for me? Anything at all? Nothing. All right, that's fine. And some of that motion sickness again. This game is not great for things like that. Uh, oh, you know what? Hold on. Is this... Okay, I saw the return home thing. Maybe we need to go back, because we picked up the key, and we want to go collect that. And there's a dragon over there. Yeah. So this is actually much more linear than before, even though that last level was pretty linear, too. I kind of like this game. This game is kind of fun. I mean, it could definitely use with a little more polish, and I have no idea how um, other... Spyro games are. I don't even know like what Skylanders. I know my sister has like one of the earlier editions of it. She's 11. 
No, she's 12 now, I guess. Wait, she was born in 2003. So I guess she turns 13 this year, okay. Whatever, so she's that age where Skylanders were cool. And I think she has a Spyro one, so I have no idea what those do. Maybe we'll find out one of these days. I just don't feel like playing with toys for a Let's Play, because that would be silly. <laughs> Watch Cut to Me a year later be like the master of Skylander LPs. That would be insane. I don't even know if there's like a market for that. Also, it sounded like they made a fart noise. Also, this guy. Something I noticed also is I say also a goddamn lot, so I'm sorry. I noticed I did that a lot in the last part, so my apologies. We've got Alban here. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. <laughs> of course, they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Metal armor is fireproof, what? but a charge attack will take care of them. It's like, if fire doesn't do it, then just bash your face right into it and that'll do the trick. That'll be it, Spyro. Don't you, don't you worry about a thing. Alright, so let's go back over here and go into that giant campfire that they had set up. This little orgy den that they got. Here, let me... There. Oh, just had to flame in the face. Alright. That's fine. That is good. Sorry, I keep killing all of these froggers. It's just, man, just get in the way. Maybe we have a finite source of health in this. I don't know. Here, let me flame you, punch you, as he's gonna... Are you trying to stab me in the butt, sir? I don't appreciate it. Okay, camera. I wish you could invert the controls for the camera, because it seems very unfortunate. Also, how's it going? Darius Rucker? <laughs> oh my god. Big enemies like this Gnork with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. Wow, and you decided to tell me this right at the end of the level after we had to contend with four or five of those creatures. That was the most worthless country song I've ever heard of in my life. Also, I think we have saved everything here. And 100 out of 100? Um, doesn't look like there is an egg here to be earned. No one will give me an egg here in the Artisans. So, let's head out. Because I think we might be done here. I think we're done with this world because off screen I had looked around for other levels and I think when we go to the balloonist he's gonna be able to take us to a different hub world basically so we have several of those that we go throughout and I think that is where we need to go next I kinda wish it would show like on your screen here like what levels there were so you could be sure but I think that is it I do have the feeling there's something over here though like there has to be right I don't know. We'll we'll find out someday, I guess. I don't feel like looking anything up right now because I am tired as hell. <laughs> I don't know why I'm recording right now to be fair or to be honest, I guess. But I just felt like, you know, I just felt like recording. And sometimes that's just the best time to do it. Hey, Mr. Marco, actually, no, Mr. Balloonist. I see you've been busy rescuing dragons, Spyro. Do I want to travel to the peacekeepers? We will do that next time. I will stay here. And we will go and explore the world of the peace. Inspire the dragon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry for the short part, but you guys are getting episodes every single day. I know Spyro isn't too happy about that either, but that's just the way the world goes. And if we're going to be entering a new hub world, chances are we are going to be collecting a lot of hub world stuff. Yeah, you heard me, Spyro. We're going to be collecting a hell of a lot of gems. So I hope you're ready. For the next episode, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you guys later. Spyro's still like, eh, this series is shit. Looks like I've got some things to do. Yo quiero Taco Bell.